the Russian zero constructions. Today I'm going to talk about a syntactic phenomenon in Russian which is similar to the Bulgarian and Serbian the construction and to the Czech at construction. Uh, such syntactic patterns usually compete with infinitive constructions and subjunctive constructions. So, first I am going to show you examples from Serbian and Bulgarian regarding the above mentioned da construction. Hoćeš li da probaš rakiju? This is a Serbian example. Here we have a da particle followed by a present tense verb. The Bulgarian counterpart is Iskaš li da opitaš rakijata? Again, we have a da construction. Da plus a present tense form. In English, this will be Would you like to try the brandy? Or the rakija? And uh, here we have two opposite the Serbian or the Bulgarian da, but it is followed by an infinitive and not by a present tense verb. An infinitive we have in Russian too. Хочеш попробовать ракию или хочешь попробовать водку? Another example from Slovenian. Ali kaj ste šli da vidite? Here is the da construction in Bulgarian. A kako hodite da vidite? It is the same as in Slovenian. The English will be and what did you go to see? To plus infinitive. The same is in Russian. A na što smatret vej hodili? In Czech, instead of the da construction, we have an ad construction. For example, dohledni na to, ad si deti čisti zubi. In Bulgarian, we will have again a da construction, gledaj desata da si mijet zabite, which in English will be make sure the children brush their teeth. In Russian, we have smatri štobaj deti čistili zubaj. Here we have a subjunctive construction. In Czech, we can say this replacing the ad construction by subjunctive to. Dokredi na to, aby si deti čistili zubi. So, to the South Slavic da, in Czech, we see at, and in Russian, there is a zero conjunction, which I designate like this. So, I have found many examples from Russian films or from English and French films, even Italian, once translated into Russian, where we can hear this zero construction. For example, in the film American Sniper, directed by Clint Eastwood, we hear in the Russian translation, Možna skažu koje što? Which could be, Možna mne skazat koje što, if we use the infinitive. The Bulgarian counterpart would be, Može li da kaže nešto? With 
at that construction. So, here the situation is as if instead of this zero conjunction, according to the Bulgarian model, we would uh, use Mojna, the Skazu, or Sto, or according to the Czech model, we could say Mojna at Skazu, or Sto. The English translation is Can I say something? In another movie, Escobar, Paradise Lost, directed by Andrea Di Stefano, we can hear in the Russian translation, Хочеш я поведу машино? Again, a zero construction, a zero subjunctive plus a present tense verb form, which could be replaced by a subjunctive example. For instance, Хочеш, чтобы я повел? In Bulgarian, normally, we'll have Искаш ли аз да карам? The construction. The English translation is Do you want me to drive? In the French production, Jeanne d'Arc, directed by Luc Besson, we find another example. Idite pakažu koje što. Come to show you something or come so that I show you something. In Bulgarian it will be elate da vi pokaže nešto. Again, a zero conjunction, present tense verb, which has as a Bulgarian counterpart, a da construction. In a Canadian movie called Mafia Incorporated, we can hear in the Russian translation a dialogue. Нам нужно поговорить. We have to talk. Here we have an infinitive as in English and a da construction in the Bulgarian counterpart. Треба да поговорим. And after that, хочеш поговориш? You want to talk with a zero conjunction and a present ten tense verb form instead of an infinitive. Хочеш поговорить? In Bulgarian, again, a da construction. Искаш да поговориш? And I will show you only two more examples from Russian films, although I can show you uh, much more. You can see all the examples in my article. The first sentence is from the movie Mjortvoje Pole, Dead Field, a film directed by Alexander Aravin where we hear Haroshi Nozik, Dai Pasmatryu Nice pen knife, let me have a look at it In Bulgarian, Kubavo Nozce, Dai da go pogledna And the last one from the movie called Sisters by Sergei Bodrov in Russian Siostry Можна ми у вас один день побудем? Can we stay with you for a day in Bulgarian? Може ли да останем у вас един ден? Here we have a back construction and here a zero construction. So, after all what I have uh, said, it is obvious that the process of creating a zero construction in the colloquial Russian language 
has already started.